By the way, can we pull up the quotes about Mike Glennon very Greg quickly? Greg all of a sudden, see, this is why, by the way, what I tell you, what I tell you. Mm. What'd you tell me, Dad? Fire him. Yes, when you I wanted know. to fire him. I thought about it, yeah. Because now this it. is what happens. Now they're winning and you can't. Like now it's like, well, it's just his second year. It's just, you know, he's just, this is, he's finally getting his guys and his team. And look what's happening. You're to fire him now is to undercut him. My God, they're playing good. They turned to Mike yeah, Glennon. Yeah. It was a great move. And now this guy who you don't want as your coach and the players don't want to play for, and all of a sudden you're stuck with him. But at the when same you want to fire a guy, fire him. At the same time, I should fired him last week. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, we looked at Reggie, nice Bush's, Reggie Bush's quote about how the wheels might be falling off. Now we have this quote from Pat Yasinskis of ESPN.com, and it just is amazing to me. Uh, can we zoom out a little bit? Is that possible? Thank you. Maybe Greg Schiano wasn't the bad guy in the Josh Freeman saga after all. Yes, maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> while looking like he had no clue, the coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers knew precisely what he was doing. It has taken longer than anyone would have liked, but it's starting to look like Shiano has found his quarterback in a winning formula. Do we have one more? The irony there is that maybe Shiano has a reason for everything he does. His methods might have seemed awkward at the time, but running Freeman out of town was the best thing for the Buccaneers in the long run. Running ben has steam coming out of his ears. Running him out of town and leaking information that he failed the drug test. No, 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 Shiano's yeah. an asshole. He's yeah. got to go. Yeah, look, no yeah. one would have said if you'd said to Josh Freeman, Hey, we're going to make a change, and I don't really think it's best for you, having been the quarterback of the future, to be here as the backup. So we're going to release you. He tried to make him look bad, and he failed. Everybody can get you get an zero and five team with a quarterback that's had a year and a half that's been bad gets to release that quarterback. That's fine. Yeah. Just release him. Just not in the way that he just release went him. About happens it. all the time. Josh Freeman signs with somebody else. This is a non-story. But no, I mean the bad mouthing of him, and the, look, the players. You hear it, players. They don't like it. He's he threw uh, he threw he threw Dex, Dexter Carter. Dexter, who was the Super Bowl MVP for the Buccaneers when they beat the Raiders, the defensive mm. player. Warren Sapp. No, Dexter Derek Brooks. No, it was another dude. Uh, <laughs> he ran back a touchdown in the Super Bowl there against sure. the Raiders. Mm. You know, and he was like he hangs out there and he threw him off the campus. Like, who's this guy? You're watching our practice. He was he brought kids from a hospital. Like it's what he, oh you gosh, know, no. and he brings it, you know, because he's a Buccaneer hero, and uh, you know, and they he has, runs him he off. He has lashed out at other players on the coaching staff during practices because they were in the wrong spot on the field during a practice. Look, he's a he's a bully. He likes to uh, flex his muscle and yell at everyone. One former uh, uh, player said he has little man syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when he was at Rutgers as a coach, he Dexter used to, Jackson. That's it, yeah. Uh, he used to uh, treat NFL um, scouts like shit just because he could. Yeah. And he would put them into this like little dugout area and say, watch the games from there, watch the practice from there. He's a jerk. He's just a total jerk. Yeah, you should yeah. have fired him. Like you, yeah. you, once you recognize that he was the wrong guy, uh, they, they, you know, they made a mistake. Good luck getting free agents. Are they going to fire? Down. Can they fire him at the end of the season? I mean, they can if like they end up three and thirteen now, or even four and twelve. But I mean, if here's he the wins thing: five games, it's going to be right, tough to yeah. fire him now. Three and eight. If they finish three and two and end up six and ten, ending the year six and two, I don't see how you can fire him. Okay, okay, so Mike in the future. Sorry, go, is no, Mike Glenn in the future? That, that's the point that I wanted yeah. to make. We're talking about Greg Schiano, but the story is actually about Mike Glennon. I just picked out that part because I knew Ben would be fuming. <laughs> but I mean, this is a guy that Greg Schiano recruited at Rutgers. He's had a hard on for him since Rutgers. He has his quarterback now. Is he legit? Is he good? Looks good. I, yeah. He looked great to yeah. Underwood. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Oh, Underwood looked good too. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, he could throw a deep ball. He's, he's like seven feet tall. He you is. know, he's I mean, like a giraffe. Yeah, totally. Back yeah. They <laughs> put him into block punts. But he looks too. weird. <laughs> he does. It looks strange to see a quarterback well, that tall. But. Uh, his but he, first start, I thought he looked good. Um, you know, I expected him to suck that game, but he he was a. NFL caliber quarterback. Sure, yeah. I, I think he looks great, uh, and he's looking good. Uh, uh, and I imagine that uh, you know we'll see. It's a little early. We don't know. You know, we you rush into decisions about quarterbacks, Colin Kaepernick, um, <laughs> and so uh, let's see. But this is a traditional, old-fashioned pocket passer. But he is he's mobile for a guy his size. I mean, sure. he can, you know, he can step around. He can step up in the pocket. It's not Dan Marino. Right, so nobody, nobody would want a guy like Dan Marino.